It's mostly science and fiction. Mostly. Motherfucking time, motherfucking travel, motherfuckers. Part 2. That's the official title of this video, but it was too big for YouTube, so I went with whatever I ended up calling this shit. So if you haven't already, I suggest you check out part one, linked in the description or probably at the end of this video, as I covered some fundamentals of time travel paradoxes that I might reference in this video. Also, it's a pretty cool video. At least that's what my mum said, so there. So let's talk about the infamous grandfather paradox, and then I'll talk about some possible solutions to temporal paradoxes that script writers could use to avoid looking like fuckwits. The grandfather paradox states that if you were to travel back in time before your parents' birth, it would be impossible to kill your own grandfather. Here's why. If you killed your grandfather before he slung a wad up your grandma, one of your parents would never be born, and thus you would never be conceived nor born either. So if you were never born, how the fuck could you go back in time to kill your grandpa in the first place? But if you didn't kill your grandpa, then you would be born, and then you could go back in time to knock him on the head. But then if you did kill him, you would never be born, and thus you could never go back in time to waffle stop him. So if you can't kill him, then you will kill him, because then you would be born, but you can't kill him because you wouldn't fuck. This paradox, of course, doesn't just refer to the one scenario of killing your granddaddy. This paradox encompasses any form of change to the past, and there are a shit ton of fun examples. A common one is the Hitler's murder paradox. If you can, like, heaps go back in time and shit, and, like, kill Hitler and shit, and put your finger in him, would you fucking, would you fucking, fucking do that? You reckon you fucking do that? No, you fucking wouldn't, you dumb cunt, because according to the Hitler murder paradox, it would be impossible, because let's say you did go back in time and kill Hitler, for fun, let's say, with a brick and a bit of old bone, then you would have successfully prevented the Holocaust, stopped World War II, and saved the fucking planet. Then history would have been rewritten, and Hitler would not have existed at all, thus removing the reason to go back in time in the first place. So again, if you kill Hitler, future you wouldn't go back in time to kill him, because you know, he wouldn't, you wouldn't have even known he existed at all. But then if you didn't go back in time to kill him, he would exist, and you would need to go back in time to kill him, but then if you didn't kill him, shit! Time paradoxes make brain hurt. So yeah, the grandfather paradox refers to any change in the past that alters the future in such a way that prevents you from traveling back in time in the first place, or from doing the thing you were going to do, or generally changing anything in the past at all. So how do we fix this? Well, you can't really, which is why they call them paradoxes, you dickhead. But there are some ways to avoid them in the first place. As stated in the first video, time travel paradoxes, I think, are not a clever and complex way to make your movie cool. They're actually kind of stupid, and a good writer who uses time travel knows how to avoid them altogether. Unless, of course, they are intentionally going for it, to which I say, try to be original, mate. So one way to sort of fix this is to use multi-dimensional time. This is more commonly referred to as multiple timelines. For example, Sunby goes back in time to horrifically slaughter her ancestors. Why would she want to do this, you ask? Because it's the only way to stop the pending nuclear apocalypse with the Zornox from Cluster 8. That's why, motherfucker. When she lands back in the past, though, the cosmos shards itself as Sunby has inadvertently ripped space and time in twain, creating a parallel universe. An alternate timeline has been birthed. In the original timeline, her ancestors evolved into the modern-day people, Sunby was queefed out, and everything happens as it did, is happening, and, and will continue to happen as... as usual. In the alternate timeline, however, whatever changes happen will alter the future. This could well result in a totally different world than currently exists. Sunvi's parents might never have met or even existed at all, especially if she goes on with her brutal and inhumane rampage. But because she has ripped time and space into two paths, she will still exist as a traveler from the future of the other timeline. She is a visitor from a different timeline, a different time, a different universe. So the grandfather paradox is avoided altogether. This multiverse scenario has many problems in itself, but that's a video for another time. Line. <laughs> Good stuff. So by having multiple timelines, you could in theory avoid many of the time paradoxes altogether, but it's still pretty tricky writing. As mentioned, it can be a lot of fun if done well, but if a film that uses time travel as the twist and it's riddled with paradoxes and then goes on to try to take itself very seriously, I'm looking at you Interstellar, you fucking piece of shit, then I say it can fuck right off. The story is broken for me, and this can ruin the entire film. But hey, who cares? I can't write anything better. Part 1. Look, there it is. Other video that I put. Look, there it is. Another one. And these things. Look at these. They're things. 